Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever wondered if you're actually introverted? While many people know their camp almost immediately, those who fall somewhere along the middle of the spectrum can have a harder time determining where they really stand. If so, hopefully this video can give you a clearer picture and answer your questions. Let's look at six signs you're not an introvert. Number one, you prefer being with friends, but you don't dislike strangers. Everyone enjoys hanging out with friends, but when you're with new acquaintances, how do you feel about it? If you feel at ease talking with strangers and can become friends with them right away, you probably lean more closely to the extroverted side. While introverts aren't necessarily shy or socially awkward, it can be tiring for them to effortlessly let conversations flow with strangers unless they hit a common ground straight away. Ambiverts and extroverts, on the other hand, don't mind the prospect of entertaining strangers. They can hit things off and genuinely enjoy conversations about most things straight away. Two, you're spontaneous. Do you like going out on every occasion you can rather than staying holed up in bed all day? If you find enjoyment in going on impulse trips alone or with your friends, you might have a more extroverted side in you that you might've initially realized. Most introverts tend to be more analytical and observant, thinking about a situation thoroughly before taking a plunge. On the other hand, if you'd rather go with the flow and see where things lead you, you're probably an extrovert. Number three, take a time out. Were you an extroverted kid? Were you somewhat popular or a class clown who enjoyed making everyone laugh? If you had extroverted tendencies when you were younger but have since outgrown them, you might still have a part of you that enjoys interacting with other people. Maybe some traumatic events have led you to stop being your usual self. Maybe being isolated is a coping mechanism rather than something you're naturally drawn towards. Whoa. While people can grow and change, it's always worth it to take a step back and find the roots of why you changed. If you can't do it yourself, talk to a therapist or a good friend about it. Number four, you feel uninspired if you stay home on the weekends. Do you hate having nothing to do on the weekends? <laughs> you may be an extrovert. Introverts are perfectly content having nothing planned for the days they get to rest. Some may even enjoy the idea of canceled plans if it gets them to laze around in bed all day. Extroverts do love being out and about though, whether it's to meet friends or to party. While introverts love their social time occasionally, extroverts would always try to find ways to fill up their weekend routine with a high energy and social endeavor like a party or meeting up with friends. Five, you're equally good at communicating and listening. Do you like shuffling between taking the lead and following others? If so, those are key qualities of ambiverts. Extroverts are more attuned to talking than listening, while introverts typically prefer listening. However, if you find yourself drawn to both qualities, you may not necessarily be an extrovert, but an ambivert instead. An ambivert is capable of making some small talk, then can switch gears and get to business with a good mixture of both listening and communicating well with others. And number six, you can match the mood of the crowd. Do you excel in reading the room? Can you hop into conversation with the same wavelength of someone else fairly easily? An introvert may take some time for themselves to diffuse and analyze situations, working things through in their head and on how to respond to strangers. Ambiverts and extroverts, on the other hand, can break in and naturally converse with other people much more readily. They also typically enjoy the moment and are more free-spirited than their introverted counterparts. We hope you learned something from this video. So which one are you really? Introvert or extrovert? Or maybe you're an ambivert. Did you relate to any of the above signs? If you did, let us know in the comment section below. That's all for now, Psych2Goers. If you found this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find insight in this too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.